Let's just take a look at uh, the trend that we've seen on the market. Uh, it has had a bearish trend overall this year. It's down a zero, it gained just 0.6% for the year, I mean that's that's minimal when you compare it to the likes of the bond market, where where yields there are double digit, uh, are double digits. What is your take on how we expect the second half of the year uh, to progress? Well, um, I'm not exactly so optimistic about the second half of the year, Samantha. Uh, the outlook now, I think, in a way, um, the slowdown in government. Uh, the elections have been over for quite a while now. But we're yet to see some movement or activity. And um, as you well know, governments are quite big spenders in the economy around here. Um, money needs to start being spent on projects in particular. Uh, a lot of the companies listed out there will need to see that money coming in in some form. So sales can go up and uh, credits can also be returned into the economy. Perhaps those are the reasons we're seeing for, for the bearish tendencies which we're getting right now. Now what um, I do not, I, I just don't look, um, I just don't see too much happening um, by the end of the year because typically November and December are pretty slow months. So we've got barely four months of uh, intense activity left this year. Now one sector that uh, could be an interesting one to, see, uh, to watch, given the fact that we have the infrastructure deficit in the country and a lot of spending has been, it will be allocated towards um, improving the roads and uh, building houses that are so desperately needed in the country. Um, that's the cement sector. What is your take on uh, playing in this sector, given uh, the growth potential of these companies? Well, uh, that's certainly one sector uh, I expect a lot to happen. And um, I can actually link this back to what I said earlier about government spend. Um, you look at the cement subsector, you realize that there's a significant infrastructure deficit. Um, over the period of the elections, there was a lot of talk about uh, improving infrastructure in the country. You've got uh, power plants to be built. 30% of our international work paved and that compares poorly with about 67 percent in some North Africa state of about 18 million affordable housing units and um, analysts have looked at this just covering about 50 percent of that 9 million housing units will require about 112 million tons of cements so there's still a lot to be done and uh, but those companies themselves are actually increasing plant capacity um, at this stage, the expectations are by the end of uh, 2011 to early or mid, we'll have uh, significant capacity increases in all the cement plants um, lo uh, locally available in Nigeria.